What happens if Atten Rand loses to Darth Sion in Knights of the Old Republic 2? Running away? I'm not done with you yet. Nor are you. I will remake you. So when I look upon you, it shall be like a mirror. Then I shall let you die. There's nothing worse you can do to me. Take your time. Losing to any boss in a game obviously seems counterintuitive to say the least. Usually you'd be met with a game over screen and the frustration of a reload. However, Obsidian Entertainment, the developers of KOTOR 2, decided to sneakily make this an active game mechanic for a specific fight and disturbing hidden plotline that was ultimately cut. But how and why? Well, fans are no doubt aware of the Restored Content mod, which famously restores the game closely to Obsidian's original vision and is being officially embraced in the remaster by Aspire Media. One of the major cut sequences in said mod sees the Exiles companions group up together on Malachor 5 and attempt to kill Darth Traya before the Exile even arrived. An assassin, a slayer of her own kin, a blinded slave, and a fool. Unfortunately, their plan failed, but the ever wily Atten Rand slipped away only to be met in a deadly confrontation with the Lord of Pain. And I get the fool. Funny, that's just what I was thinking. If the player-controlled Rand somewhat miraculously wins the duel versus Sion, he survives by escaping again as the Dark Lord regenerates and rejoins the Exile post Darth Traya being defeated. <gasps> and asks the Exile in his usual cocky tone where they're going as the two leave Malachor V behind them forever. Need any company? I mean, I'm not doing anything. Besides, if I'm not around to bail you out of trouble, who knows what could happen? All right then. Where are we going again? I mean, because last time we were heading towards this mining colony on the edge of space and there was this Sith Lord and... However, there's just one tiny wrinkle in this plotline, as players probably didn't intuitively realize, myself included, that Aten could actually lose to Sion and that it would become a major beat in his storyline. So what happens and why was it cut? Well, when Rand is defeated by Sion, I'm guessing it probably would have been cut from the original release anyway due to its graphic nature as Aden is tortured by the Lord of Pain. Running away? I'm not done with you yet. Nor are you. I will remake you. So when I look upon you it shall be like a mirror. Then I shall let you die. There's nothing worse you can do to me. Take your time. Furthermore, after Kraya is defeated, we get another scene with Atten, except this time it's post-torture, as Atten can be found face down outside Kraya's meditation chamber. And I want to pause the video just for a moment to say, one, it's telling that a jealous scion would have taken his time brutally mutilating Atten to twist him into the new Lord of Pain, as promised, then leaving him on Kraya's doorstep like a pet delivering a wounded creature in deference to its master. It just builds more to Sion's story. Two, Aden will allude to the fact that he was disfigured. And although I remember reading, and I may be wrong, that his disfigurement would go so far that he would have his arm cut off and his face was meant to resemble Sion as Sion had really stitched him up. Unfortunately, either the modders or Obsidian seemed to not create those models. Either they limped out of the idea or for rating reasons, it's been completely removed. The mod may exist and I definitely want to try it out, but it does not appear in my game at least. Okay, so with that being said, approaching Atten as a male, as we find out gender can fundamentally change this exchange, he will greet us worse for wear before succumbing to his injuries, saying, You're alive. Did I save you yet? It should be noted that all of our dialogue leads to the same responses from Atten, who face down notes his disfigurement. Choosing to comfort Atten, we say, Atten, hold on. I can still help you. Your eyes. That bad, huh? Always was ugly. Now the outside matches. Was waiting for this, but it's not fair. Let you down. Was supposed to save you. 
You did, Atten. You fought bravely, and I could not ask for a greater sacrifice. Malachor touched all of us. We all died there, and the echo kept traveling. It just took a while to reach us. I was tired of living anyway. Too many deaths. Never told you. Lied to you. This statement, of course, alludes to Atten being a Sith assassin, and we can say, You never needed to tell me, Atten. I know. I don't want you to see me like this. I don't want to die in front of you. Can't bear it. No. I will stay with you until the end comes. You saved me. Joke's on me. <laughs> Hurts when I laugh. Hurts. Much more heartbreaking. If the player was a female, he still perishes. However, this is the canonical ending of Aden's romance arc, as he perishes admitting his love for the exile before dying in her arms. Loved you from the moment I first saw you. Thought you were a dream. Meant every word. Tried to play it off as a joke. Wasn't funny. <laughs> Hurts when I laugh. Hurts. <laughs>